what you're gonna see on today's video. Well, beautiful women, hey, I'm old, I'm not dead. Totally crazy characters. Except for this guy who was trying to be cool but ended up just being boring. Then there's this guy who was the most entertaining character of them all. Staff that went above and beyond the call of duty and I get barred from a nightclub because... Well, if you stick around, you'll find out here on Living the Thai Life. And what else? It's me. So... Now this guy checked us in. He spoke faster than the speeding bullet. I can't even think that fast. Well, my name is Noam, I'm the club manager. Breakfast time starts from 6.30 to 10.30. Breakfast we serve at 7th floor and 25th floor. We'll be seeing more of Noam as we go along, but first, let's have a magic welcome drink. And it really is magic. That's <laughs> magic. <laughs> Let's have a look at the executive lounge on the 25th floor, which is where we checked in. Our club open from 6 until 11 at night, so all day refreshment, coffee, tea, juice and drink, we serve in here from 6.30 to 10.30. Welcome to your home away from home. I was really surprised when I saw where we were staying. The hallway was bigger than some of the rooms we've stayed in before. There was a coffee and tea maker. And what about the minibar? It's free. The bed was huge and inviting and the room was so spacious with the bathroom and a circular bath. Not one but two sinks with waterfall taps and a toilet of course. And not only all that, but the room even had a walk-in closet. And if that wasn't enough, wait for it, there's more. We got goodies and biscuits and chocolate cake in the living room. Ooh, happy birthday to me. And another bathroom, a loo with a view. What's next, Num? Swimming pool start from 6 until 10 at night, except on Thursday start from 8 to 10. At night, fitness 24 hours, so you can run all the night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you're not can't sleep. You can run. <laughs> So this is JJ. Yes. Right. So I'm JJ, Club Signature Angel. Mm -hmm. How long have you worked here, JJ? One year. One year. It's the first hotel that I work in. So you're enjoying it, right? Yeah, I yeah. enjoy it because um, my colleague very kind <laughs> and <laughs> yeah. a good team. Good. Thanks, JJ. Thank, Thank you very much. Yeah. For afternoon tea in here, we start from 1.30 to 3.30. Yeah. yeah. Talk about living in the bloody lap of luxury. We're in the exec lounge having snacks on the little cakes and sandwiches with tea and great coffee. And we were there from half past one till nearly half past three. You come upstairs, have a quick nap, and then it's almost time to go back down to the exact, exact lounge. 4 30 to 6 30 for unlimited of alcohol for happy hours. So, everything that we have red, white, 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 sparking, white, cocktail, and mocktail, everything is free. 
Christian Lacroix signature behind me there. Monsieur Christian Lacroix, the renowned French fashion designer, visited Soul Sophie Tell Bangkok on the 21st of November 2011, when it was in its early days of the hotel's construction. He signed off to mark the commitment to bring his inspiration and design flair to the hotel as its signature designer. What are you wearing, Norm, if you don't? Um, our outfits from this hotel is made from the Christian Lacroix. Confidentially speaking, what do you think? With this one? Do you like it? I like it. Yeah. Well, yeah, like it. Yeah. no, I do. I love the black jacket. The black jacket. That's... I always wear the red one. Oh. Never wear another color because it's not contrasted with my skin. And it's red is your color. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. Because cool. that's why I got another one. I got two uniforms. I got with the black one and uh, the gray colors. Uh -huh. But I wear that. I feel like I'm not gorgeous enough. Uh, it's not look stunning, so <laughs> I, I all got red. No, it suits you. Yeah, it, it does suit you. know it suits you, yeah, don't yeah. you? Oh, yeah, it suits me. He's such a stylist. Right. Now, we decided to skip dinner due to having pigged out a bit at lunch, but the food looked really good, so we couldn't resist a few nibbles and then some. And let's be honest, we were only there for the unlimited booze, but could we last the whole two hours? <laughs> You'll be surprised. As were we. So the wife's having lunchy, cranberry, and vodka. And, um, whoa, that's got a hell of a kick to it. In a, a sweet and very tart, kind of salty taste to it. And I'm having my usual Long Island tea which wasn't on the menu. But uh, I just asked and no problem. Apart from the fact that the girl thought Long Island tea was some kind of tea that they hadn't got on the menu. Seared salmon sushi and uh, see what this is like. Yeah, very good. Tastes fresh. Sushi roll. I'm making a mess. Ooh. Heavy on the wasabi. Straight off my nose. Kiwi fruit with green cheese on a Ritz cracker. The kiwi fruit really complements the blue cheese. Oh my god, what is that? You from Thailand, from Bangkok, Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Your first time? No, no, no. Oh, many times. So you like Bangkok. Can I ask your, your name? Yeah, yeah Stephen. Stephen? Stephen. Yeah. And Cheng. Yeah. Okay. Good couple. Nice couple. Love your hair. Thank you. Your hair. How long you have like that? Uh, last week. Last week? Yes. Yeah. Okay. What's your name? Uh, Nick. Nick? Nick Daniel. Yes, that's my name. But you're from where? Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur. And how long have you been here? About a year. And you've been working here yes. for a year. Every year. So how come you ended up working yeah. here? You're living in Malaysia, then you come here. But... Better opportunity. Yeah, 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 yeah. And do you think it is? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Call my future wife here as well. So Where's your future wife? Right beside me. <laughs> wow. And what's your name? Uh, my name is Nam Tip. Nam Tip. Nam Tip. Nam Tip. N A M T I P. Okay, fine. Yeah. So how did you okay, mean? Call her Kun Suai. Yeah, it means beautiful. I know what be <laughs> I know what it means. So how did you two guys meet? Uh, of course, we worked here, and then um, when I was. Well, last year I was working here for my in club signature alone. Okay. Yeah, and then she saw me, she fell in love with me, so no. that's how we got together. <laughs> he, he you fell in love with him, yeah. right? So he was like, oh, I'm not interested. Right? He was chasing you everywhere, right? Yeah. Then, oh, yeah. She was the one she was doing. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I come to work every day. Yeah. This, this guy doesn't believe in himself at all, does he? Wow. So how long are you planning on staying, Nick? Um, hopefully, maybe 
maybe I'll go back to Malaysia after I retire. After you retire? Yeah, hopefully. That's like, like when you're 65 or 25. 50. 50. Yeah. Nick, pleasure. And much success in the future. Thank you. Um, one of the things I can recommend about uh, So So Fitel on Saturn is that the executive lounge is very good, the food's good as you've seen, but one of the things that really stands out, because we've done several executive lounges in many places, and when it comes to the two hour drink as much as you want thing, you often can't get what you want, and it generally takes a long time to get what you want. But here, it's different. They serve you like that. I could have had a Long Island tea every bloody five minutes if I wanted to, and no complaints. They're very, very helpful about it. And so uh, remember that if you're a drinker. Now I know I say when we go to uh, hotels in Bangkok or around Thailand that the staff are always really wonderful, and it's often true. In fact, it's always true. But this time I can actually prove it. Keep watching. What's your name? My name is Ted. Head, head is a diamond. 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 Oh, it's diamond. Yes. Oh, now I know why Nick loves you. <laughs> okay. Nam Tim is like water from heaven. Water from heaven. Yes. Okay. Right. Now, talking about water from heaven. Yes. Right. This. Right, now this is called what? Take the river boat. Take the river boat. Yes. Okay, now what's in Take the River Boat? So in Take the River Boat we put gin, gin, vanilla syrup. Vanilla syrup? Yes. Okay. And also cinnamon syrup. Cinnamon. And apple juice. And apple juice. And you also put a cinnamon. Cinnamon. Yes. I'm not drunk. I'm not drunk. A yeah. cinnamon stick inside, right? Yeah. And a slice of lemon. It was invented here. Yes. Yeah. Only here. Only here. You, you can't get it anywhere else. Yes. Right? If I'd have tasted this when I came at half past four, I'd have drank this all night. It's beautiful. Would you love it? It really is so good. Yeah. It really is so good. So I have to tell my viewers about it. So thank you You're so much. Water from heaven and yes. and diamond yes. and diamond. Okay, kapunka kapunka. Water of heaven. Yes. I actually requested to take some cups some cups home because we haven't got enough time to drink them here, and they actually brought it. Amazing. The happy hour drinking stopped at half past six and it's quarter past seven now, we're still here and we've still got loads of drinks and the staff have been just absolutely bloody wonderful. And if you've not noticed, I'm absolutely pissed. Yes. So how long have you worked here? Six years. Six years. And how many times have you said all that? All my life. <laughs> <laughs> Repeat thing and yeah, okay. I'm sure you dream about it. <laughs> yeah. So we've come up to the rooftop bar on the 29th floor and we have a voucher for free drinks. I just checked out the Negroni, which is yeah. the first time I've ever had one. And um, it's gin, campari and vermouth. Uh, so I'm expecting it to taste of campari and vermouth, both of which I like. But uh, there's a hell of a lot of gin in here. The waiter just told me there's only 30% gin in here, but I don't believe him. You can taste the bamboo, which is lovely. Uh, you can almost taste the Campari, but the gin, it just overpowers everything. And I'm not complaining. Negroni, I can recommend it. When we came up, but not that we were interested, but there's a music bar next door. So being a little drunk, I was in the mood to explore, so I decided to check out the nightclub on the same floor, but after some discussion, they refused to let me in, and I was escorted off the premises. And there are actually four guards with bloody bulletproof vests on us and shit like that, and they wouldn't let us into the music bar unless we had ID. When you've got four security guards there with bulletproof vests on, you don't really argue with them, you know?
So we went back to the bar and after telling the waiter what had happened, he took us back and got us in. I was not impressed. The place looked like a modern day version of the black hole of Calcutta with a pink candy floss ceiling. And so dark, I don't think you'd even be able to see the person sat next to you, which I think was the point. It looked tacky and well, how can I put it? High so seedy. I was glad to get out of there. Apart from that incident, which was fun in a funny way, we had a great day and the only thing that we actually paid for was when we went up to the bar called High Soul and um, we got our free drink which was part of the package and then afterwards we had another drink and that was the only thing we paid for all day so we got the exec lounge uh, high tea dinner with free drinks from 4.30 till 6.30 and we stayed on we didn't leave until gone eight and they just kept serving us drinks. We were the last people standing or almost standing. The staff, amazing. Uh, they even got us some takeaway drinks as well. So, uh, all good, all good. The following morning we decided to check out our breakfast options and on reflection I think we'd made a mistake. Here in the executive lounge, this is your choice of breakfast. Of course, you'll be able to order eggs and stuff. Uh, they've got egg fried rice, spaghetti with the seafood, chicken green curry, pork rice. Uh, so, back downstairs, I think, shall we? So we went back down to the Red Oven restaurant, which had a wider choice of options. And the options were... <gasps> Bread cakes, waffles, toast and jam, Danish custard, panel chocolate, desserts, vegan stuff, ice cream, fresh fruit, coconut, salad, smoked salmon, a selection of cheeses, fruit juice, more fresh fruit, honey glazed ham, a small selection of sushi, croissant, sliced hot dog sausages, bacon boiled ham, more hot dog sausages, spring rolls, fried rice, noodles, seafood, fish balls, curry, pork, pumpkin, satay, patongo, dim sum, and more. And being spoilt for choice, I had bacon and egg. Lumbini Park does look extremely inviting, all the morning joggers having their morning jog, mad fools. The beating heart of Bangkok, right in the centre. I'm kind of tempted to go into Lumbini Park and uh, get a bike from here because you can get them for free. Uh, and have a little healthy cycle around the park before our brunch. It's probably not going to happen. So instead I had a nap in a crappy corner of the hotel. By the way, we've been here before. We came here for brunch, which was really, really nice. And that's one of the reasons we're back. But I wanted to stay here for the night to see what it was like. And uh, so far, so good. And if you want to see what we did the last time with the brunch and how that went, then check out my other video, which is here. Or it could possibly be there, it depends where I put it. Yeah, we had a bloody excellent time here, amazing. Uh, I, at the present moment, I have to say, it's probably the best hotel we've stayed in in Bangkok. So, so if you tell, um, in Saturn. The standard room, the original standard room was 12,000 baht, but we got it reduced to 7,000 baht, and we got an upgrade to the best suite in the hotel. And um, that was all down to the card that we have. I could rave about this place for quite a long time, but we're now going down to the buffet. And that's why we came back originally for the buffet, but I wanted to stay the night because I wanted you to see what the place was like. And I was shocked and stunned, shall we say. I really didn't expect it to be this good. Thank you so much. My no, pleasure. No, no. That's your thank you so your much. Card. And thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe because it's free of charge. Health and happiness. Bye.